Hello and welcome. This video is number 6 in a series of short videos detailing the use of MasterFrame and MasterFrame Pro. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Add Members in a Panel facility from the Create menu in MasterFrame. The Add Members in a Panel command presents a powerful tool for adding an array of members within a panel, in the existing structure. The Add Members in a Panel, again has the common, New Member Generation facilities, allowing you to specify the section size of the new members going to be generated as well as member cross-sections attributes and design group information. The method in which members can be added is extremely flexible. It can insert members in a regular fashion simply by specifying how many members we wish to insert and that we wish to space them at a certain spacing. So if we say we'd like to insert three members at a spacing of one meter and hovering over the panel, we can see those three members coming in. The alignment of the members is automatically to the near side of the panel in which we will select. This is controlled with the Align with Nearest Panel Side option, which is turned on by default. Without the Align to Nearest Side turned on, the direction of alignment can be controlled through an angle, which we can specify at various degrees. Or we can select a member about which we would like to be parallel. So using the Select Member, we can now say that these members are parallel from this member. However, the most convenient and powerful method is to automatically align the members with the nearest side. Whilst inserting members, we can also say that we would like to evenly space these members over the size of the panel. We can also specify that we would like to simply fill to extents at a spacing of 1.5 meters. So here we get a spacing of 1.5 meters from the nearest side, continuing until the entire panel is filled. The alignment of the members can be parallel or perpendicular to the nearest side. When not filling to extents, the side in which we measure from is the nearest side to our selection. To place the members, simply click inside the panel when the preview shows you the layout of members which you require. As soon as you have created your member panel group, the panels are reorientated and regenerated, with the result that panels can be further subdivided into more panels. Care must be taken when using this facility, so as not to quickly double-click on creating subdivision of a panel in an undesired fashion. Again, we can use the undo function here to undo our last actions. In window selection mode, we can simply window a selection of panels to insert the members as specified. In this mode, the Align to Nearest Edge is no longer applicable, since the members being inserted need to be specified either as an angle or parallel to a selected member. It's worthwhile noting when you window select, you may be selecting multiple panels that you don't appreciate. For example, in this instance, I'm dealing with the full frame operating on a plan view and the window selection mode has selected panels from the vertical panels also, which is obviously not what we wanted. So on doing this operation, this clearly demonstrates that this function also operates, not just on horizontal floor panels, but panels of any orientation, allowing you to quickly and easily insert elements like wind posts or purlin rails on outside wall panels. Therefore, to use the window selection mode, it's more desirable to move to the specific plan view filtered to this set of members. Now the members are inserted, and if we go back to the full frame view, we can see that those members are exclusively added in the structure at plan at level one. We can see that as we hover over these panels with the diagonal cross bracing, that the bracing doesn't interfere with the panel geometry. This is because by default in master frame, the bracing members are excluded from the generation of the panel geometry. This concludes this short video on the use of master frame insert members in a panel.